Hey everyone! Welcome back! I am back today with more Vinland Saga. You guys, I am so excited to see what is going to happen next. If you're joining me early today, you already know what it means. It means you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much and as always, I'm sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in the description down below. So the inevitable happened last time. Um, I had just felt it coming since like the very first episode. And something about the combination of getting to know the sort of person that Thor's was and seeing like older Thorfinn in the in the uh, intro theme um there was just something about that I was like oh no he's goner he is goner um in some ways like they held it off a little bit longer than I thought they would and in other ways like I feel like um you know they could have tried to stretch that out to like the end of the the season or something. Um, but, you know, obviously there's a whole story where Thorfinn's older, so they really couldn't have done that. But I, I could see, like, that happening, too. Like, having a big death like that um, happening a little bit later in the series. Um, but the way that it happened was just so incredibly him. You know, preventing... Um, all those people from from dying and and even like the other side even making sure that you know just he's just so done with violence and he's not going to see violence done you know he's not going to see killing done he had to become violent and he really tried not to he really tried to be like okay i'm just letting you just stop here just stop and we and be done with it and they wouldn't listen and um just the whole the whole duel, like, I just, I don't know. There was something about it that, like, I just knew it was coming, and it didn't make it any easier to um, watch him be this best person, this best version of himself that he had become. And we know he started out, like, very far from that. Um, just watching him in action, he really demonstrated his values, even through his fighting, you know, not killing and not taking Askeladd's life at the end and everything. And I think someone pointed out, and I didn't even catch this, but he, he, he apparently like threw someone overboard and like gave them an oar <laughs> so that they wouldn't drown or, so, or something to that effect. I mean, just, um, you know, he really, he, he lived his values, even in battle, even in even um, in something that will ordinarily be a, a big display of violence, he was, like, minimizing the violence. Um, let's talk about Thorfinn, because Thorfinn's childhood ended right in front of I knew he was going to watch his father die. And to think that really the, the point at which that became so evident... I mean, it was going to happen. I mean, they had the orders. It was going to happen one way or another. But psychologically for Thorfinn to think that um he was taken hostage by one of the crew from the other side and that's why you know that's what kind of backed Thor's into a corner um psychologically for Thorfinn that has to be utterly unbearable and that scene at the end where he's just crying and running the whole thing through his head like but my father was so strong. What did he mean you don't need a sword? What? It, why is this happening? Why is the other guy still alive? And just watching his child's mind try to process this um, childhood ending event was heartbreaking. And to see the rage in his eyes as he stared down that other ship saying he was going to kill them. You could tell even the guys who were like poking fun of him at first were like, whoa, that's, um, that's some legit rage. Um, so is he going to join it kind of looked like they were hauling him away on the ship that they stole. Like, is he going to end up joining them and their army and everything? Um, and it's kind of how it looked in the intro as well. I'm like, no, I must have that wrong. Um, but no, it, I, I think that's where we're headed. Which is going to be really interesting because assuming that, like, he's part of, like, that's his captain or something. And which means somebody must train him so it's either one of the people in that crew or 
Ascalad himself, or I, I don't even know. That's going to be very awkward, you guys. What's going to, what's, are we ever going to see like Leif or any of them ever again? Um, I guess there's only one way to find out, guys, and that's to jump right into the next episode of Vinland Saga. Let's go. He's like starving and thirsty. Yeah, it looks so gross. Baby. Somebody give him something. I don't think any of these people are too caring. Oh, baby, he must be so weak. <gasps> Sweetheart. Uh oh. What? I thought they were just there to rest. Yikes. Oh. Oh, for him to have to see all this at such a young age, this is the opposite of what Thor has wanted for him. Is he gonna try to kill these people? I couldn't say I would blame him if he tried. Oh, he's like, oh, that would be much better for the killing. I swear that sword is bigger than he is. Oh God, well we know this isn't gonna work. He thought better of it. Oh, he knew. I was gonna say like, he must. Oh honey. You know what? I, I have really just no caring or sympathy for any of these men. They seem like real scum. Yeah, he's not gonna... He believes in doing things, honestly. He's gonna train him, isn't he? Yeah, see, he's never, he's, he's a, he's a little boy. I'm real done with the crew. Askeladd, I feel like, has some kind of weird moral code. But I'm done with the crew. What? Oh, this is where, okay. Oh. Oh, it was a grudge, wasn't it? He kind of suspected that it was a grudge. I disagree. You killed his father. He's always oh, he's go he's gonna go get his own dinner. Okay. He finds some oh he found some like nuts or berries or something. Good job, sweetie. Oh oh I hope they're not like the berserker mushrooms though. <laughs> no, I don't I don't think uh I don't think those grow around here. And now they gotta tell him that Thorfinn is missing. She's trying to be strong. Oh, 
she's processing it in her own way. This poor woman. So he's going to be on the lookout for him. He's going to go search for him. She's, she's just... Oh, Yofo's got some of that. I think she got some strength from her dad. I think that's how she's getting through this is to I would like to see her deal with it a little bit more but I, you know everyone grieves differently oh yeah Yuma's kind of like a she's pretty awesome She's doing pretty well on her own. It's okay, you don't, you don't have to do this, Silva. You can, it's okay. You can let down for a second. Yep, let it out. That's what's keeping him going. Oh, you're about to find out. He's the one who, t yeah, he's the one who like took him hostage. That's. Oh, baby. Yeah, see the the whole like war cry and then running at them like really gives them a lot of time to, you know, formulate a response. <sighs> oh, <sighs> I just want someone to take him in and feed him and love him. And this is all leading up to him taking him out and training him, I'm guessing. Oh, doggy. Is it a doggy or a foxy? I think it's a doggy. You're not going to eat the doggy, are you? I think the doggy might want to eat him. I think it's a wolf. That's either a wolf or a fox. <laughs> His first lesson. Oh. 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 Mm, so sorry it had to be done, doggy. He's training. He is so determined. Look at him. I said, oh, it's so funny. I was just the animals. I just, but I get it. I get that they don't have a lot of options if they want to eat. Oh, and he, he got his own dinner. Okay. It, is it going to go a lot differently this time? Olaf! Like from Frozen? Oh, I think he's going to be surprised. I think he's going to he he's trained. I don't know if he's he's not strong enough to beat him, but He's got some moves, I think is the point. <gasps> okay, now he still has a long way to go. Oh, he's going to get back up. 
Oh, these people are disgusting. Oh, no, he's not going to. Oh! Dang it. Still, though, that was not bad. Which implies he's done it before, which is. Huh. Oh, that's why he's going to join up. That's his goal. All right, you guys, that was such a good episode. It was a, it was really heartbreaking to deal with the fallout of what happened to, um, to Thor's. I feel like on any other show, we would jump right from the day that he died to the future. And maybe they would fill in some of the gaps in between. But no, here they take us on a step-by-step -step journey of like him starving, him trying to train, him trying to capture his own dinner, you know, just um, him going after this guy multiple times and multiple times refusing help from any of the crew. And um, it, it really, uh, there's something about it. And I think this is kind, it's similar to what they did with the worst to build up his character. There's something about it that feels like they're telling it in a very linear way. And so it feels less like a story and more like you're you're watching this happen. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense. But there's just something in the storytelling that makes you feel like you are going through it with them. Um, like I really felt like we were we were going through that every step of the way with Thorfinn. Um, watching him just like try and survive, you know. Um... And in the end, I mean, I think Askeladd was impressed enough with the way that he had improved in such a short amount of time. I mean, yes, obviously, he's still a six-year-old boy with no training whatsoever, aside from what he did to survive in the woods. But, I mean, the fact that he got in that little throwing the dagger at the end, I mean, yes, the guy flicked it off, but still, that was good for a six-year-old boy? That was friggin' good. Um... Also, Yilva, we got to see her trying to deal with, you know, we know she's very, she's not a big heart on her sleeve kind of person. We kind of knew that. But I love the way she was just like, yeah, whatever. Well, we knew it was going to happen one one day eventually. And no big deal, whatever. Look at, and she is mad strong too, like taking out all that work. And that's the way some people grieve. Some people don't sit down and, and let it all out right away. They keep themselves busy. And... They keep busy, and they keep busy, and they keep busy, and one day, it just all comes out. And that's what we saw with Yelva. And I loved that they showed, I really didn't know if they were going to show any of the, um, like, what happened afterwards with Leif and the boys and, um, and, the, and the mom and sister. Um, but I like that they showed, like, how they were dealing with it and that they were being strong in their own way. Like, this whole family, like, they just... They will feel it, but they'll keep it together. Like, they all have that kind of really awesome, silent, gentle strength about them, um, in a way. So, all right. Um, I'm, I'm guessing that's where we're headed is, is Thorfinn's going to stay on board and get trained. And, and the reward will be, if he can, you know, do something great in a battle, the reward will be he will get to kill the person who killed his father. Um, or who at least, you know, I mean, technically speaking, there were a bunch of arrows shot at him. I think, like, at least five people had a hand in actually killing the father. But, um, you know, Askeladd obviously was a captain, was the one who had the orders and carried it out. Um, Askeladd is not a good person by any means, from what I can see. But he does have this weird code of honor, I feel like. Um, the other ones just seem, pr I mean, like... Yeah, no, like some of the things they implied there, I'm, I'm really not, I'm not on board with any of the men in the crew. I, I'm sure that was, that's all like legit, like stuff that just happened. It's just like sailor stuff, but I just seeing like the, 
killing and the attacking and everything. I'm just like, nah, I just really can't. I really can't get on board with any of that. I don't know if maybe we'll get to know, like, individual characters from the ship who are, like, not all that bad. Because we know that, like, that was Thor's at one time, too. Um, but, yeah, so if I just, like, making fun of Thorfinn and everything, I'm like, nah, you guys can all just jump overboard and... And no, I hope no one throws you an oar. <laughs> so, um, I, it, it, it's, it's funny how they kind of like continued the heartbreak in this one. You know, we thought last episode was kind of the pinnacle of the heartbreak. And, uh, and no, they just kind of, um, kept dragging us through the mud in this one. But I think the fact that they did that makes me so much more invested in Thorfinn now. Because I felt like up to this point, we were really split between following Thor's and Thorfinn as like our main characters. And now I feel like we're, I have like my main solid investment is in Thorfinn. Um, so I'm guessing next episode will be the time jump. We'll get to see what's been going on, like the results of all the training and everything. Um, so I'll look forward to that. But man, it's just like, it's not one of those feel good shows, but there is something about it that like, I, I'm excited to watch it. Like, I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. And there's always this, it's not like a horror show where the focus is all on, like, the the violence and the death or anything. Um, I feel like the focus is on the hope and, and love that, you know, Thor is kind of brought into this story, you know? Like, yes, there's a lot of violence and war and everything like that, but at the end of the day, this is about a man who kind of turned away from all of that and how his story kind of spawned off into uh, Thorfinn's story. So um, so there is, like, this weird kind of, like, wholesomeness and hopefulness about it. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, so I will look forward to seeing what's going to happen with Thorfinn, Poor baby. He has been through so much already. Let's just have like a win for him. He had like a little win here. He was able to take care of himself, but um, just like him being so little and alone and oh, it's just dreadful. So let's, let's have a win for him, you guys. Um, had a blast with this episode. Love what they're doing with the show. I cannot wait to see more. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to join me next time and we will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.